The Blanding's turtle is medium sized, with especially large turtles reaching nearly 30 centimeters. It is easily identified by its short, rounded snout and notched upper jaw, which gives the appearance of a permanent smile. Its most obvious feature is a bright yellow lower jaw and throat. This turtle has an unusually long neck that it uses to ambush prey. The upper shell, or carapace, is smooth, domed, and quite long relative to its width. The shell is dark in color, but sometimes gray or light brown, and almost always patterned with light colored spots or streaks that can give the turtle a mottled appearance. The bottom part of the shell, or plastron, is yellowish in color with dark blotches. Most adults have a flexible hinge on the plastron that allows the turtle to partially or completely close its shell for protection. Baby and juvenile Blanding's turtles have a virtually plain gray, brown, or black carapace, with the spots and streaks becoming more evident after a year or two. The tail is much longer and thinner than in adults. Another Ontario species, the spotted turtle, also has a dark colored spotted carapace with a head and neck adorned with several yellow or orange spots. However, the spotted turtle's smaller adult size, fewer and larger well-defined spots on the head and carapace, and complete lack of a plastral hinge distinguish it from the Blanding's turtle. This is a northern species, with approximately 20% of its global range in Canada, mainly in Ontario. The Blanding's turtles in Ontario are part of the Great Lakes, St. Lawrence population, and occur throughout southern and south-central Ontario. This species takes a particularly long time to reach maturity, upwards of 25 years in the northern part of their range. Adult survival is very high from one year to the next, and they are extremely long-lived with confirmed accounts exceeding 75 years and theoretical limits of 100 years or more. After maturity, Blanding's turtles lay a clutch of eggs usually every other year throughout their lifetime with an average range of 6 to 20 eggs per nest. Of the many hundreds of eggs laid throughout the turtle's life, only a couple survive to become reproductive adults. The Blanding's turtles' long life, late maturity, small reproductive output, and low egg and hatchling survival make it extremely vulnerable. Crayfish are especially favored food items, with insects, worms, leeches, snails, small fish, frogs, and some plant matter making up the rest of the diet. While primarily aquatic, males and females are known to wander great distances over land. Blanding's turtles live in a wide variety of habitats, including lakes, permanent or temporary pools, slow-flowing streams, marshes, and swamps. They seem to prefer shallow water that is rich in nutrients, organic soil, and dense vegetation. This turtle is a designated species at risk in Ontario and Canada. It is a threatened species under the Species at Risk in Ontario list, and the Great Lakes St. Lawrence population is also designated as threatened under the Federal Species at Risk Act. The main threat to the Blanding's turtle is habitat destruction and fragmentation, as wetlands and adjacent uplands are continually filled in and degraded to build housing communities and shopping malls. These turtles are either outright killed in the process, or displaced to less suitable habitats where the population inevitably declines. Shoreline development reduces suitable nesting habitat and makes it difficult to climb out onto land for nesting purposes. In many areas throughout the range, boating and other recreation can negatively impact Blanding's turtles. Not only is it stressful on the animals that make this their home, but motorboats needlessly cause the deaths of many turtles floating near the surface due to propeller injuries. Similarly, the ever-growing network of roads cutting through Blanding's turtle habitat has taken a huge toll, as adult females tend to cross these roads or attempt to lay their eggs on the sandy shoulders. An adult female is immeasurably valuable to the population, and they are frequently killed both accidentally and on purpose. Illegal collection as pets, or for food, is a significant concern because given their life history, removing from the wild even a small number of adults is completely unsustainable. Though usually accidental, fishermen sometimes hook a Blanding's turtle, and these hooks can and do cause death. Blanding's turtle nests are under the constant threat of being destroyed by predators. While predators are a natural part of the ecosystem, due to increased human settlement, certain predators, such as raccoons, skunks, and foxes, occur at unnaturally high levels. We call these subsidized predators, as they occur at high levels due to things like garbage and food crops provided by people. In areas where these subsidized predators occur, nearly 100% of turtle nests are destroyed every single year. Blanding's turtles are at risk of disappearing forever, but there are ways you can help. Watch for turtle crossing signs and always pay attention to what's on the road, especially during the nesting season in late spring and early summer. If you see a turtle on the road, and if it is safe to do so, pull over and help it across, and always in the direction the turtle is heading. Blanding's turtles are very docile, and it's nearly impossible to induce a bite. Since a fall may cause serious injury, always make sure to hold the turtle tightly when helping it off the road. Take the opportunity to educate others about Blanding's turtles. 
a lot of people are not aware of how important turtles are to the ecosystem and how different our planet would be without them. Explain to others how vital adult turtles are to the population and encourage people to never remove one from the wild or kill one intentionally. Try to get involved wherever you can. There are conservation organizations that work to better understand and save these turtles, so help spread the message of their conservation and check to see if you can volunteer in your area. Now may be our last chance to save these turtles from vanishing forever.